Tell me something, y'all. Does your Walmart parking lot have all this? This is Harvest Host. Much, much better. words <laughs> we have two options folks you see these trees uh, we can go straight and squeeze between that tree and the Dutchman or we can try to go right and go down that path we'll see we'll get out and see so Google's ready Garmin's ready all right stop it looks like it's past the corner now. Yeah, it's past the corner. Alright. Okay, that's good. Now it's on the pad. You're fine. You're not even close to the picnic table. Okay. Oh, your football filled away from the white truck. You're not even close to it. Maybe five feet, maybe not a football field. Hey y'all, we are finally leaving Branson. We're headed south. We have really enjoyed our time here in Branson. We're headed to Arkansas tonight for another Harvest Host. It will be our second Harvest Host. We're excited that we finally get to stay at Harvest Host again. And then tomorrow is Mississippi. We have family and dear sweet friends to see in Mississippi. Um, and hopefully some warmer temperatures because it is getting kind of cold here for us here in Missouri. Um, we've really enjoyed our time here. We The only thing we wish was that the leaves would have changed. It's like October the 30th and the leaves are still, I think they're starting to turn, but it's not like this overwhelming, what, forest of leaves. Yeah, it's not like these beautiful pictures you've seen where it's all yellows and reds and all that kind of stuff. It's just a sprinkling. Um, but the hiking here was fun. Yeah. And, um, the hiking was really good here. One thing about Branson, and maybe y'all already knew, but it's a lot of uphill, downhill. <laughs> I didn't even feel comfortable driving the truck because I think it's just so hilly. And I want to get more comfortable before I start tackling those hills and stuff. But I, I loved it. I think it's a lot of fun. You could tell Matthew got used to it after a couple of days because he was like just whipping, and I'm like over here, you know, holding the <laughs> handle, or you're trying to use your imaginary brake or whatever. So. Yeah. We like having our engine brake on the truck because that helps save on your regular brakes. You don't have to ride them going down the hill. You just keep your foot next to the brake and ready to go, but usually you don't even need it. Yeah. So we got out of the RV park, okay? You know, you're always worried, you know, what's the exit plan, but it seemed to go well, and we hope we can show you some footage of how that went. But um, I think our neighbors were leaving next to us, too, and we got out before they did. I think they're actually headed north. Yeah, to Springfield. Yep. Because they had some family up there. So it was a really nice park that we got to stay in. They fit us in. I mean, because everything in Branson was booked in this spot. They had a spot for us, and it was a very nice, pretty quiet RV park. It wasn't noisy, and they're under new management, so they are trying to clean it up and fix it up and stuff. But, but their was, prices are really good as compared to the rest of Branson. And it was in a great, I mean, awesome location. We were literally three miles. Is it three miles or three minutes? I don't know. Maybe it was three miles from the strip, the start yeah. of the 
the um, Country Boulevard, you know, the famous... Um, 76? Yeah, I think it's Country Boulevard, too, the famous um, strip where they have a lot of shows and stuff like that. So, we hope next time if we come to Branson, we might get to try some shows. We didn't get to this time, but we did do a lot of hiking, and that was fun. We caught a little bit of a cold, too, and that was free. Yeah. Arriving at 6800 Camp Robinson Road on the right. Yeah, that's a little orange. Uh, about right there should be good, and you can get out and look. There, stop. Only like an eighth of a bubble off that way, and this way. Same thing, just like a sixteenth of a bubble off. It's almost perfect, so almost as perfect as it gets. So it's good? Yes, very good. All right, y'all. We're at the St. Joseph Center. You can see, there we are, and there's our neighbor. And there's a big, big Prevost. Yeah. All right. This building was born in 19. It born. This building was made in 1910 as a Catholic orphanage. By all accounts, it was a good orphanage, and it was run successfully until the mid 1970s at which point it just turned into church offices and that kind of stuff, it became expensive to run. And then in the early 2000s, the organization that has it now signed a lease because the Catholic Church was going to demolish it and just put up some apartments. Or they were gonna sell it to people who were gonna put up apartments, I'm not sure which. So now, this group rents out rooms to artists, um, they're thinking about putting in some Airbnb rooms. They keep the chapel vintage the way it used to be. It is four floors. It is beautiful on the inside. They're working hard at restoring it. It is an amazing building. They had over 700 acres at first and now they have, what, 68 acres. And they have a farm here. And that's vintage also, in concept at least, because when the orphanage opened in 1910, they started growing their own produce, raising some animals, and so they kept up that tradition. We are just outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. Y'all have got to see this place. They sell locally grown produce and jams and jellies and partook or partaked in strawberry jam, honey, and apple butter. And there was only one apple butter left, so that must have been the favorite. Matthew had his eye on that. And then they let and then we said, can we see some of the house? And they took us and showed us a little bit of the house, like the first floor and the second floor. And the caretaker and his fiance live here. How cool is that? I mean, well, there's bushes in the way, but here, let me give you a better shot of it right here. You can actually see right, right there is our little farmer stand, and they sell meats and stuff as well, pies. It's a little late in the season right now. This is October 30th, I think. So they didn't have a lot of produce, but they had the jellies and jams and meats and stuff. But how cool would it be to live in a place like this, to restore it? That's really neat. They're working on restoring the kitchen right now, among other things. There's Sean. This is really neat. It beats the Walmart parking lot. Oh, y'all, this is better than the Walmart parking lot. And if a big 44-foot Prevost can fit in here, so can you. It's just a little tight, so you need to make sure you plan ahead when you turn. None of this last minute whip a Yui kind of thing. That don't work. <laughs> and I didn't get to film it, but the road in here was crazy with your Garmin 
trust Garmin. Google wanted us to go a different way, but oh. we trusted Garmin, and it was still scary. <laughs> because these little <laughs> tiny roads, and they had road construction and cones, and like we were looking at the Garmin map, and it was like purple spaghetti junction, and Matthew's like, "Is that for us?" And I'm like, "I don't think so," and it was. <laughs> There's a little garden. There's RV site number three, so they must put someone right here. Oh, sure. Like a class B or something. Yeah. See if you have a smaller RV or a shorter RV. This is a perfect spot for you. I'm going to say there was obviously something right around here. Can you see the outline and you see that door right there? The door to nowhere. Don't take that step. I don't know what used to be there, but what is still left is original definitely looks dated but they're doing a good job they kept it from demolition they have their hunger relief garden oh first we have to go see what's in the cages I think they're bunny rabbits they even make their own honey on site do you see these things I'm not gonna get too close y'all to but do you see these things that look like little dresser drawers right up in here beehives make their own honey well they harvest their own honey the bees make it oh look how big they are look how pretty look how pretty you got a small cage and you want to wedge yourself in the corner what's that all about All right, here's their hunger relief garden. I won't go in there, but. All right, most of the 68 acres are in the back. However, there is a structure out front we wanna see. Hard to believe that a place like this is a harvest host. This is an amazing harvest host. This is an arch that is supposedly original to the building. Now they'll tell you on Harvest Host website and when you get your confirmation emails, do not try to go under this arch because they would like to keep it. There's a second entrance which is much more modern with a nice wide turn and everything. But this is amazing. The original gate, I guess, or arch. Probably built when the building was, which was 1910. Look at this. They open their farm stand up to the public on the weekends. But if you're a Harvest Host guest, which you Harvest Host people ought to be used to this by now, they have a private opening for you of their farm stand. So just you and your traveling companions get to see the farm stand without a hundred of your closest neighbors. All right, y'all know how gigantic Sean is. Just kidding. That's why you can't take your RV under this because you will ruin it. Don't do it, yeah, people. Yeah, she said she's 5'4 and our truck is nearly seven feet tall. The truck would make it, the RV would demolish it. So let's. The truck would make it. I think the truck might make it, but the RV would demolish it. So let's heed their warning and not do it. Sean found a little footpath and she wants to see what's here. Because I'm an explorer and I want to see everything. You just want to see some things, right? Everything! Everything? Really? Don't y'all want to see everything? Are y'all a hashtag everything person or a hashtag something person? Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, oh cool. Is that oh. Oh, I bet it does. <clears throat> I 
I bet that is what this represents, the empty tomb. It is, yep. <laughs> Look, y'all, they're calling you. Hey! You know I can't feed you. No. Well, they said you were around. I guess they're right. You are around. Hey! Oh, it's firm and it's so soft. You want to feel? Oh, wow. Oh, you get so firm. Hello. You're kind of round, too. Are you round? You want to come say hi? Pregnant. Wow, could be. I'm sorry I can't feed you. You've been eating too much of the strawberry jam or is it the apple butter? There was only one apple butter left. Yeah. I think you've been still. Must be the apple butter he's been eating, or she. There's the moo moos. That poor grass doesn't stand a chance, does it? There's Sean. Look, at the grounds, how pretty. Oh, yeah. And if you walk right here, you can see our RV. Oh, there it is, off in the distance. Ten points if you can spot it. You're a little late. Sun's going down, dummy. <laughs> the other one wants to get in. <laughs> <laughs> I like that sign. Not just anybody can have a sign like this now. All right, y'all. If you want to stay here, here are the rates. Foul moods will not be tolerated. Alright, let's go see what all this noise is all about. Looky, looky. Hello. Aren't y'all pretty? like to run. Yep. Look at this y'all. BDR has a fan club. Really? There's chickens and ducks. Hello. Aren't you pretty? Say hello. He's been by the fence this whole time. Oh, you are beautiful. All right, y'all, beauty contest. Horse number two. Oh, sure. Now you're turning around. Or horse number one. Again, horse number one. Very friendly. Horse number two, still friendly, a little less, a little more shy. Put your response down below. This is coming up the back side of the building. It's just impressive. And it takes an impressive amount of work. If you live in this area, I'm sure they would appreciate you volunteering to help restore this because it takes a lot of man hours to do this. Oh, I see him. Yeah. The goats have a bodyguard. 
Hey, I'm not feeding you. You're pretty. Oh, there comes the dog. Hey, sweetheart. Hi, you're pretty. Yes, you are. So <laughs> <laughs> Keep them in line. <laughs> Tea. Yeah. It's like a fashion show. They just come by to say hi, and when they figure out you're not going to feed them, they leave. We got a big old Prevost Class A. Alright, the sun might be in the way, so I might have to get the other part from the back, but there's another fifth wheel here, the Sandpiper, and then here is us. So let me go between. The sun is like really bad right here. So you can see. There. There's us. There's our neighbor. And then there's the Prevost. And then there's the house. This is awesome. Yep. So, what are your thoughts about the St. Joseph Center Harvest Host? I love it, and y'all are going to find this odd, but my favorite thing <laughs> is the chickens! I mean, who would have thought that you could have so much fun with chickens? They were so cute, and the roosters, they like to show out. They're showmen. Yeah, and as you'll see in the video footage, they have lots of space to walk around in, and they have some friend ducks in there. This is awesome. If y'all don't have Harvest Host, sign up for it. It is great. It really is. This is so much better than a Walmart parking lot. And I love Cracker Barrel, but, you know, this is better. It's relaxing. Yes, and I think, did they say they had 68 acres we could walk around? Just as long as you don't go behind a locked fence or locked door. Yeah, that's their only rule is... Don't go beyond anything you shouldn't. It's common sense. Yeah, and don't feed the animals. Oh yeah, they said they get food, enough food, they have special diets, and they said the sheep are already round, they don't need your help. There's a military camp around here, a military base, and that used to be part of this property. They used to have over 700 acres. That's what that is? Uh-huh. That's so neat. That's cool. <laughs> They have different, I don't know what to call them, bugle calls for various events and meanings. Get the back side of the house, or the mansion. Here. Y'all look at something. This is our harvest host for the night. With our harvest host membership, this is absolutely free. There are other RVs here, but I don't see them. Do you? There's Sean. And here is our view. You see anybody else? You see anything else living? No. This is perfect. This is free, and for tonight, this is home. 